Um, we're calling for politics to be kept out of policing completely because there is no place for political interference in policing. Some of it may be well-intentioned, but some of it just isn't. And if that's a concern for the public that they are indeed being politically swayed and not independent, that causes more problems down the line because policing is supposed to be apolitical. We're not there to do the job of politicians. We're there to apply the laws as bequeathed on us by politicians. So it's important that we retain their independence completely of any political um, interference or intervention whatsoever. Obviously, police forces are operationally independent, but do you think that some of the particularly high-profile comments, the very public comments that are made, can they put that independence, do you think, at risk for the future? It, it could convey a certain perception that the, the, the police are there to do the, the job of that particular politician, when actually there's a wider, there's wider evidence, there's wider roles to be done. So taking a protest, for instance... You know, there's certain things that police would love to do, but when you've got 20, 30,000 people protesting, we can't just run into the crowd, arrest people at will, because it takes a large numbers to do it safely, to do it properly. But we've got evidence gathered as behind that. It can capture the evidence and we can do it later on, but it's not a quick fix that some people want. So it perhaps gives a, a disingenuous view of what the police are not expected to do versus what they can do at the time. But to reassure the public, these events do get scooped up later Evidence is recorded and it is dealt with. It just sometimes can't be dealt with at the time because it's got to be operationally safe for everybody involved, police officers, but also the public.